Hello, so today I'm going to talk about JPOD by Douglas Copeland. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny, I started reading this book because of the CBC TV series JPOD, which is based on the book, and <laughs> it's funny because like one of the first lines in the book is like, TV and the internet are great because they keep stupid people from being out in public. <laughs> um, so I've never read anything by Douglas Copeland before and <laughs> he's kind of annoying in that he's very self-referential and like characters talk about how they're characters in the Douglas Copeland novel. But <laughs> He's also kind of very apt in his observations about popular culture and kind of my generation. Um, <laughs> and it's funny because at work the other day, my bosses were asking me if I knew what the China syndrome was. And <laughs> it's it's weird because it's like you realize that generational gap um, and I do know what the China syndrome is but <laughs> it's like they they don't know what the young folk think these days um, and so yeah Douglas Copeland is pretty pretty good at kind of describing those ideas um, <laughs> it also reminded me of something else I was thinking the other day, which is like, eventually we're all just going to be, I don't know, quoting Simpsons episodes, which are parodying, like, movies and books that we've never seen or read, <laughs> and it'll just be all some crazy, like, meta level of talking about ideas. Um... So yeah, J-Pod, I'm halfway through it, but I enjoyed the TV series, and I enjoy this so far, so read it. <laughs>